What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send new contacts to Pipedrive from Google Forms using make.com. Let's get started. Here is a simple Google Forms that I just created to capture data of our contact. I've renamed my form to Pipedrive form. We are collecting their name, email, address, phone number, organization, and comments. On our make.com, I will search for Google Forms. Here, we are watching for responses. Create a connection between your Google Forms and make.com just by clicking on add and then renaming your connection and sign in with your Google account. I've already done that. I'll just choose on our correct Google Forms connection. And then here, I'll search for our form, which is PipeDrive form. So click on, I'll click on search and then here, search for Pipe, PipeDrive form. And then click on OK. You can see we found our form ID. You can choose to set a limit. I'll choose two as our limit and then click on OK. To run our module and see if it's working properly, I'll choose where to start. I'll choose on all and then click on OK. To see if our module is working perfectly, on our form, I'll click on submit and then run our module. You can see our module ran successfully and it's giving us answers to our comments right here. Address, phone number, email, name, and organization. So organization right here. Now that we are capturing data on our form, we can begin adding the data to our PipeDrive CRM. So I'll add another module and search for PipeDrive and then click on PipeDrive CRM. And since we are adding new contacts, we're going to go to persons. So the first thing we can do is we'll, we'll try and see if the, the person just filled in our Google Forms, if he already exists in our CRM. So the first thing I'll do, I'll just search for the person. Now here you'll create a connection between your PipeDrive account and make.com. And after creating a connection here, you will choose the term. On the term, we can either choose to search for the contact by name, email, address, phone number, organization, or comment. In our example, I'll choose name. Just input the value. For the fields, you can select all the fields and then click on OK. Now, after searching for the person, we can either add him to our CRM if he does not exist on our CRM, or if he already exists in our CRM, he has already filled in his data on our Google Forms, we can choose to update the information that we had of him previously with an information. Here, I'll choose a router and split our flow into two. So pipe drive will create a new contact, so create a new person. And for this one, we'll choose to update. update a person now for the name we'll add the name of our contact for the owner since i'm the owner i'll search for my name and then click on okay you can see you found me for the organization i'll search for organization right here and then click on okay you can see it found the organization and then click on OK. So now we'll create a person in our own organization. And then for the updated person, we'll fill in the details of the, for the person ID. We're going to choose the person ID, the name. We're going to, to update with the new name, value. And for the owner, I'll search for the ID of myself, the organization. I'll click on OK. After adding the organization, we can add the emails can label it email then the value will be this email right here and then click on okay and the last thing we can do is set up the filters right here so i'll set up the filter for adding a new contact since we are adding a new person on our pipe drive we shouldn't have the person's id so for our filter here our condition we're going to say person id and set up a basic operation and say it doesn't exist. You can say 
contact the contact that if our person id doesn't exist the contact doesn't exist and then click on ok and then say the person id exists and then click on ok automation is set up correctly to confirm that automation is working perfectly we can auto align it and then we are going to have to resubmit our form again so here i'll click on edit our response you can see our details and our form now to run automation i'll submit our form again and here i'll click on run automation once so you can see that we didn't have a contact on our pipe drive and now after submitting we have created a new contact on our pipe drive so when we go to our pipe drive here you will see that we have created a new person or a new contact on our pipe drive crm if we choose to run our automation again it will update our existing contact with their email so now here when i click on a run once you will see that the con our contacts exist and it has and it has updated our contact now when we go back to our pipe drive crm you can see now we updated our contact with our email we can also choose to update with the phone number and add it to our pipe drive to update it again setting up the simple automation we are adding new contacts to our pipe drive crm and we are also updating existing contacts to our crm to our pipe drive crm and we are doing that by setting up the simple automation on make.com where after a contact submits their data to our form we are searching if they exist on our crm and if they do not exist we are creating a new person with the data that they just submitted right here and but if they exist we are updating the existing contact with the new data that he just submitted with this automation right here as we saw right here on our pipe drive crm so this is a simple automation that you can set up to add new contacts to your pipe drive crm from google forms if you have any automation that you'd like for me to create just comment down below in the comment section i read all the comments and if i find your comment intriguing i'll come back on a future video showing you how to set up the automation from scratch but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye